Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Elena and I hope you guys are here to stay. And today's video is going to be very different from anything I have made before. And this video is inspired by this giant tube I got in the mail. And boy, let me tell you, my husband loves when I get inspired, not. <laughs> I get inspired and get excited over the stupidest, littlest things ever, you guys. I guess that's the creative side of me. For instance, my arbor outside with my Visteria got inspired by a nail polish. I had the nail polish on, its name was Visteria Haze. I was looking at my nails and I decided that now I need to have a Visteria. But to have a Visteria, I needed Arbor. <laughs> Ended up ordering the Arbor, which I did not know my husband had to assemble from scratch, piece by piece. It came in a million little pieces and I felt horrible for him. That circle right there inspired me at my old house to have a major, major remodeling. When I bought that thing, I brought it home, put it on the wall in my kitchen, and then I realized my kitchen looks like crap. <laughs> Three days later, we were demolishing my kitchen. And when I remodel, you guys, I remodel everything. I get rid of walls, I move walls. I mean, I go crazy. So my husband does get very, very scared when I say to him, honey, you know what I'm thinking? <laughs> And I don't blame him. So, but today's video inspiration is just by a plant pole. Thank goodness, <laughs> no remodeling involved. So, the reason why I decided to make a video like that basically, I ordered a plant pole not even thinking about anything about it. I just needed a pole for my giant plant, which is my Monstera adinsonia. It's in my bathroom. You guys have seen it in my first plant tour video. Um, I will insert picture right here just because it is big and I don't want to bring it down here. Ordered the pole, not thinking anything about it, then it came and boy was I surprised. I am really, really happy with this product and I will show you and explain to you why. I will also in this video today show you other products that I absolutely love and um, enjoy using for my plant addiction. <laughs> or let's call it hobby. <laughs> yes, there's uh, quite a few products that I would like to share with you that I enjoy and I think you guys will also enjoy them if you end up getting them. Um, quick note, I am not sponsored by any of these companies. I should be sponsored by all of these companies because they're about to get an amazing review here. <laughs> So, but I'm not. All of the products that I have here, it's everything that I purchased on my own. I found them on my own. I do enjoy them and I would like to share with you guys. So maybe it will be a little bit more helpful for your hobby and it might inspire you to enjoy your hobby a little bit more. Let's just dive right in. And I guess let's start off with the product that inspired me to make this whole video today. And again, this is a Coco Coir pole for my Adinsoniae. And it's cool, it comes in this giant too. The reason why I chose this product right here only because a lot of poles are very bulky. They're very big and I am very a uh, visual person so for me it has to be aesthetically pleasing and you guys can probably relate if you have as many plants as I do. It's very easy to get your house cluttered uh, looking with so many plants so for me it's important how they look so my house doesn't look just overrun by plants and that's led me to choose this pole over other ones um i gotta tell you it was a little bit more pricier one compared to the other poles that were out there on amazon i went with this one just because it didn't it, it looked a little bit more delicate it did not look as bulky and big as the other ones so and i gotta tell you i do not regret at all i really really like how it looks i like how it feels um pretty much it's it's a good product 
so you can tell they're not as thick and fat like other ones and it comes with the twine which is really really nice i like it that you just stick them in the soil so basically what i'm going to do i'm just going to stick it in my plant pot and down the road extend it which is really nice they just snap right into each other and i probably end up using this twine just because it looks so so cool it just thick and it's just different so that's pretty long pole right here so i really like this product and um didn't want to get a huge one fat one because the pot that my plant is in it's pretty large pot but it's not as wide so i didn't necessarily want it to replant to be able to put a giant pole in there so and i figured this is something a little bit smaller i can work with just putting it in and not worry about repotting my plant moving on to the next product so since we're talking poles i found this amazing amazing poles i think they're so cute <laughs> and they have them in different sizes also on amazon i will link every product that i will show you today that i purchased on amazon i will link every single one of them in my description below so you guys if you're looking for something like this it will be easier for you guys to find so the other little poles that i got th these are so cool these are i believe tomato sticks and they have them in different sizes they have them really really tall if that's what you need and what i like about these i'll get up close so you can guys see they're like really really cool looking they are fiberglass they are very very strong and they're cut on the angle at the tip right here so it's easier to stick in the in the, um, in the soil so I really like these. These are so cute. And like I said, this is one foot long and that would be good size for my little Hoyas. And eventually I will get them a little bit taller and so I can trail taller plants. So I really like them and they do look good. They are much better than anything like plastic or just bamboo stakes. Like these are so much, so much prettier. I really like them. They're just different. Now that we're done with all of my poles here, we're gonna move on to another type of trellis that I like to make and I had people commenting on some of my trellises. It's a um, little trellis like this and I have quite a few of them around the house and basically I twist and twirl them different ways, whatever I feel like it basically. They work very, very well for teeny tiny Hoyas they hold them pretty well. I like these. These are so cute and so easy to make. Honestly, I would look at the plant and realize, oh, it needs a trellis. So I just bend one really fast. It takes me literally maybe a minute, if that, and I just stick it in there. And this is what I use for it. So this is basically just aluminum wire. And I believe those are made specifically for jewelry. I mean, I, that's what I understand by looking at them. So, um, but I like using them a lot for my plants and they have them in different colors. This one I purchased at the local greenhouse here and I came back this year to get more and they did not have them anymore. So I was able to find something similar on Amazon and I will link the store below for you guys. And I got it a little bit different color. And this one is, and they have round ones like this. If you guys want to get just the round plane and they have them in different colors, so it can go crazy there. You can have fun with that. So, but I, I wanted to try something different and I love blue colors. And this one is just flat. Let me see here if I can, I haven't used it yet, but this one is a flat wire. So I figured that would be just a little bit different look for my trellis when I make them. And, and all I do is so easy, guys. I just cut whatever length I need and I just bend them. Basically, I would just circle the circle and, I, and then I just edges, I just bend them this way and you just stick them in the plant, the plant pot, which is nice, super easy, takes literally under a minute, I promise you guys, it's so easy, it's such a quick, easy fix if your tiny little plants need a little bit of trellis, and I do have a lot of Hoyas, as you know, and um, that was a great solution to solve that. So next product that I have that I would like to show you 
since we're on trellis situation here once you trellis some plants you gotta pin them tie them so they don't don't fall off the tra trellis although on the little ones i don't i just kind of just loop them around and stays. On the bigger plants, you do kind of want to secure them. And I do have all this butterfly clips and I got a bunch of cute ones and ladybugs and all that kind of stuff. So, and I do like them, except if you have a thicker stem Hoyas, I feel like it's chokes them. It's literally, it just pinches them so hard and the stem would die off. So I'm very strategically pinning them. So what I found instead that I really, really enjoy and I can control it as my plants grow, I found this Velcro tape, I would say. It's basically, I mean, it's meant for vegetables. It's just a Velcro tape and basically you just cut it up as long of the piece you need and you just tape it around. And as your plant grows and the stem gets thicker, you can just undo it a little bit and it holds plants very well in place. I really do like it and it's gentle and it's safe for your plants. Next product I wanted to mention is my cute little ladybugs and my little bees that I have in my plant pots. And some of you guys have noticed that I've had it and you've been asking me about them. That one, you guys, you are on your own. I searched and searched and I could find them any longer. I know I purchased them way before COVID. I wanna say maybe two years ago, maybe a year ago before, you know, the lockdowns and all that stuff, because I remember I wasn't wearing a mask <laughs> at the local um, greenhouse. And uh, they had a bunch of them. They had a bunch of them in the cups right next to the cash register. And they are made out of glass. They are completely glass. They're so cute. Oh. They're adorable, they're tiny. And they kind of were pricey, to be honest with you, for what they are. And I was buying so many. I keep grabbing them and grabbing the lady at the cash register was looking at me like I'm a crazy person. I couldn't help it, they're so cute. So I got a bunch of them. I went back, even this year, I went back to look for the wire and the ladybugs and they didn't have them anymore. I tried to look online. I tried to look everywhere. I could not find them any longer. So that one, you guys, if you want some, you are on your own. <laughs> and obviously this type of things, I mean, for plants, nobody have to have them. This is like absolutely useless, <laughs> but unless it just makes you happy. So for me, they, they're not because they really make me happy and they're super cute. So I definitely enjoy them. I don't regret buying them at all. And if I ever find more, I will be buying a lot of them again. So let's continue talking about useless <laughs> products that make me happy. And maybe you might want some too, but this is another, this is a plant tag. I mean, useless only in my opinion for me, just because I never actually wrote the name of the plant on the tag. Maybe I should, so this way it serves some kind of purpose. But this product, I absolutely adore. You might have seen that in my previous plant tour um, video. So, but this one is so, so cute. This is my little Yoda steak i absolutely adore it and um if you guys don't know if you haven't seen my previous video my nephew named me he's five years old now when he was just starting to talk he named me anti yoda don't ask me why so basically yoda is my name now and that's what I, my family calls me and everything is baby Yoda in my house or just Yoda and um, when I found those I was super excited because they are they're just fun they're just fun they literally serve zero purpose until unless you put a name on them other than that in my case I have not so zero purpose other than making me happy because they're so flipping cute and um, and says grow you will <laughs> so really enjoy that product i will link that also below um it's just the person on um, etsy i don't remember the shop name but i will link it for you i'm pretty sure they make different type of plant tags but i like that one a lot it's very well made and it's really really cute 
Now that's the only two useless products I'm gonna show you today. The next product I really, really enjoy, I've mentioned this in my last video if you guys have seen it, but these are my strawberry picks. They actually call strawberry forks. So I really like these guys. Also got it on Amazon. I will link it below for you guys. Basically, these are amazing to just when you propagate your Hoyas or any kind of plant that you need to pin it down to have more stability. This I love for that reason. I love that it's have a little, you know, spot here that you can grab it by and you just put it in. And once your plant rooted and stable, you can take it out and reuse it again and again. And I believe they come in a pack of 50, which is great. You only need to purchase them once unless you sell plants. I don't know. I don't. So for me, uh, this is going to last me forever because I can reuse them. And I love the fact that I can reuse products. I don't really like to waste anything. So these are the strawberry forks. Next product I really, really enjoy, and I have quite a few of these around my house, is it's by Fiskars. This is my little shares. And since I work with a lot of teeny tiny little plants, I really like them. They are very sharp. They are inexpensive. These you can get at any big box store. Honestly, I've seen them everywhere. They are not expensive, but they're very good quality and um, I really enjoy them. Honestly, they're, they're just easy to clean, easy to use. And I love the tiny skinny little tip that I can use for my smaller plants. Very precise, very sharp, very, very good shears for your plants. Next product I would like to talk about, the little shovels I got. I really like them a lot. So I have two of these. I did get them on Amazon. So I like these a lot. I have it for quite some time. I have two of these. This one is a smaller one. And another one that I have is larger than that. And I really, really like them. They're made out of stainless steel. And honestly, as long as I have been using them and you go in into the soil and bark and all that stuff and it, they don't even get scratched. I mean, it looks brand new it looks like i have never used that thing before so it's pretty amazing i definitely like these a lot they have them in different sizes again and when i plant tiny tiny little hoyas um i use just regular teaspoon be honest with you but for you know bigger plants and bigger amount of soil that you want to grab these are amazing if you guys are interested Next product I really enjoy, also got it off on Amazon. I really, really like this product. And guys, I am so happy that's finally now this plant hobby and plant love is taking off so much because I started way before that happened. I started collecting plants for a long time and they didn't have all these cute little pots and cute little accessories. Now they do and it's so so exciting because it makes this hobby so much more fun and uh, just little little things make a difference and um, next product here is very very simple and you will never really see it once you use it but it makes a huge difference it serves so much purpose so these are like little mesh little circles right here they're plastic again you can reuse them once I think my plant died or whatever I do wash them and I do reuse them for my other plants I love these things it's really really good it fits most of the pots unless you get like really really tiny ones like I have some really tiny ones that just not gonna fit in there and I love it you just put it in the bottom on top of the drainage hole and you put soil in there and you don't have all the soil falling out every time you water or every time you set the pot down. So I love this product right here. That's absolutely amazing. So the next product I would like to talk, it's not necessarily even plant product by any means, but I love using it for my plants. You guys have seen it in my previous videos. I've used it quite a bit. I love plastic cups. These are just shut cups that I get it off Amazon. They come in different sizes. This is two ounce, then I have three ounce, and I just got these. This one's right here. These are pretty big. I got it at Gordon's. Gordon's food. I don't know. I don't really go there that much, but when I did, I saw it. I'm like, this is perfect because this is a little bit stronger plastic. So, and that's something I would probably grow my bigger Hoyas in possibly permanently. I don't know, but I like this. I like 
clear because I could see the roots. I could see what's happening with my plants. So I like them for that reason. So I got those. And I almost forgot one more product that I absolutely love, use it on a daily basis. I have quite a few of those and they have them all over my house. It's basically just a little squirt bottle. I love this guys. This one is a five milliliter one. I also have a 250 one, which is a little bit smaller. And um, I have a very, very large ones in my grow tent. Those are thousand milliliters. I have three of those. I just fill them, up, fill them up with my reverse osmosis water and I have them in my grow tent so I don't have to go up and down stairs to go get some more water to water my propagations. The reason why I like the squeezy bottles because I have a lot of little plants in tiny little pots and a lot of cacti succulents and those kind of need that precision watering where you don't want to overwater them and you just in a lot of them usually in a teeny tiny little pots like this little Hoya right here and it's in a tiny tiny little pot and it's much harder to water those with regular water cans and the last product I would like to talk to you about this is not even meant for plants by any means but it's such a find I am so excited to have it since I've mentioned my little cups here, you can see that I have holes in them now. And that's what the tool is for. I really, really like it. You know, when I used to cut with scissors a little side of the cup, you can totally do that. I've done it for, for a very, very long time. And now I found this tool and it's called soldering tool. So it's not meant for plants in any way, but this is the soldering tool. It's basically just plug it in and um, it's, it does have a temperature dial, which I don't even know. I just did it on the hottest. And um, it comes with different size of tips. If you guys want to use it for anything else, honestly, the original that it came with in, like it's totally fine for what I need it for. It came with tiny little sponge. I guess you're supposed to wet it down and wipe it off the tip at the end. And it comes with a little stand, which is nice when you are soldering, I guess. You can put it down <laughs> so, so the hot surface not touching any of your surfaces. I really, really like this. This is really, really nice. You just basically plug it in and you just go in and just, you can even have a whole stack of your cups and just go in and make a little hose. Gotta tell you though, you don't need to go too deep. You just go a little bit in and it will melt for you because if you hold it for too long or go deeper, once you stop, it still keep melting for a little while. So just literally just a touch is enough. And if you want smaller holes, and I just realized a lot of um, products that I have showed you guys match my nail polish color today. That's funny. That's really funny. I guess it's truly, truly my favorite color. <laughs> Who knows? I didn't do this on purpose. I mean, come on, people. I did not do any of this on purpose. It just seems like I'm drawn to that color. I guess this is it for today, guys. And I guess we can thank this company right here for inspiring me to make this video for you. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, check them out right here. And I will see you in those videos. If not, I will see you guys next Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.